Hello everyone. Today, me and my friends are going to present on the topic traditions around the world. We were assigned to collect cutouts on this topic. We each had to collect 500 cutouts. We had to explain in this in these cutouts that what traditions are there around the world, how are they used, and where, in what places are they used. So basically, we have explained that what did we do in this topic. We studied that what is tradition, why to study traditions, what to study in traditions. There are some rare and desired traditions that you might get shocked and happy to hear. What did we learn and way forward? What are traditions? Traditions are the customs and beliefs passed on from generation to generation so that the new generations will follow them and which will become an integral part of their lives. They will become important and will help them be fit and fine. They will also develop their mind and in a strong way. Why to study traditions? We should study traditions because traditions represent a critical piece of our culture. They are very important. They remind us that we are a part of a history that defines our past. Traditions contribute a sense of comfort and belonging with the world and family. Traditions bring families together and enable people to reconnect with each other to do different activities. They reinforce values such as freedom, faith, integrity, a good education, personal responsibility, a strong work ethic and the value of being selfless and helpful and free. What did we study in traditions? We studied that there are many different types of traditions all around the world. They consist of jewelry, clothes, food, traditional works, worshipping and festivals. There are many different types of jewelry, clothes, food, traditional works, worshipping ways and festivals all around the world. Simple example of worshipping God. The Christians go to the church and Hindus go to the temple to worship God. But God is the same for all. But the ways are different. Some bizarre and rare traditions. Bullet and gloves. When a teen officially grows old, he is sent into a jungle with his other friends and a medicine man to gather some bullet ants. The medicine man then gives the ants a drug that makes them sleep. Then those ants are stuck to some gloves that are worn in the hands. The children have to wear those gloves and dance. The ants wake up and find themselves suffocated in that hand. So they start biting the hand. To ignore the pain of the biting hands, they, the children have to dance for 10 minutes. This tradition is very harmful for hands and has no scientific reason behind it. It's just some somebody's experience which is being passed on. Tooth filing. This tradition is both for boys and girls from the Balinese culture, which is completed before marriage. All children get their teeth filed and leveled. This is a very dangerous tradition because the more small, small the teeth are, the more big the food remains. We can have some digestion problems. This is also probably due to somebody's private experience. Somebody may have experienced that big teeth are sharp and might harm their lips. Baby throwing. Baby throwing is a tradition in which newborn babies are thrown from a 50 feet high temple and are caught in a piece of cloth. This is a very risky tradition, but somebody might have had a personal experience of his own. He must have tried it and his fate must have become, become very nice. But this is a very risky tradition and should not be done. Learnings. What did we learn? We learned that there are traditions all over the world, even though said by people who are not scientists or literates, have scientific backings. Simplest example is vis visiting places of worship. These places are generally constructed and located such that the ambience helps soothing of mind, helps relieve stress, increase focus, etc. When we go to temples, we come home fresh and fine and full of energy energy to do some work and you may have observed that after coming from temples you you can focus more and the work gets successful 
some tradition are past probably due to some individual experiences and may not have logical reasons example throwing a newborn from a height bullet and gloves but these traditions still need to be studied for their logics before passing on to the next generation or they might be quite risky or, or harmful way forward however progressive or modern we become traditions remain a pillar for our existence they help us connect with our past and use the learnings and present for a better future it is therefore needed to respect the traditions we may not follow traditions blindly we have to not follow traditions blindly we need to scan them before application in life but definitely we need to preserve them because after all life is lived through rich experience of tradition and not necessarily through the books and education thank you